Hey guys, this is Ridgey102 here, back again with another video review. Today I've got it on the Halo Anniversary Series 2 Mickey action figure. Um, this is the box, as you can see here. Just says new character, Halo 3 ODST Mickey, Halo Mickey bonus piece, all that stuff, and then the render of Mickey from Halo 3 ODST. Which is a nice picture of his like unique um, armor shoulder pad, and then there's all the Halo games, the um, UNSC insignia that you make when buying all of these. As you can see, you get the different pieces with various characters throughout this line. So yeah, that's the um, nice package. It's simple to open, as you can see here. That's the packaging. Um, here's the action figure himself. Um, great detail. McFarlane always do very good detail on their action figures. Only problem with him, he's got really flimsy hands. Um, like Dutch. Not as bad as Dutch, but mm, they could be better. Um, he looks really good. Looks exactly from the game. And I think, um... Yeah, he's got his unique shoulder plate here, and just the normal ODST one there. He's got the backpack with the little antenna and that bit, I'm not sure what that is. Um, his helmet's got the little torch on the side, you can see there. His visor's light blue colour. Let's take the rocket launcher out of his hand. Quite stiff. But, you know, it's like, he's got the sh all the shotgun shells around his, um, right leg. They look really cool. His, um, legs are a bit stiff and kind of weird. They kind of go lopsided, if you can see that. They kind of go lopsided. So when he stands, um, his legs are lopsided, and he kind of is as well. Which is annoying, but, I mean, nah, what, you think, what can you do? You can't really do much of him. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. Then the rocket launcher here, if you haven't noticed already, the front grip just fell off. It literally just fell off out like out of nowhere. Which, do be careful when you get this, because it is really flimsy and that it just snapped off, and I mean, I don't know where it is now, but, oh well. But apart from that, it's, everything else is very sturdy, and so is that, that, that's a bit, look, as you can see, that kind of comes off. But, yeah, the rocket launcher looks really nice, and I think, exactly from the game, it's even got like, the little um, signs and everything. So yeah, it looks really great. It's not hard to put the um, rocket launcher in his hand, but he doesn't hold it properly. So yeah, he, he can hold it like that, but you can't do many poses. Which is a shame, but they will. Then the little eagle. That's what you get with him. That's the piece. I haven't got any other series two. Yeah, because I still, still haven't completed series one, so I just can't find them anymore. So yeah. But yeah, there's the little eagle. Looks nice. It'll look great when they got more. But he is a very good action figure. Has a lot of detail, and does look really cool. But it's just a shame that he's quite flimsy. So. Yeah, great action figure. Definitely get it, just for kind of collecting them bits and whatnot. But he's a good action figure. Definitely add it to your collection, because it's good to get that if you have all the other ODST action figures. So yeah, that kind of does it for this review, guys. I'll see you in the next video.